Hello! In this short video, I want to walk through what's been included in the 1.00 release of Chocolate Gooey. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, so looking at the release notes, uh, the first thing that's mentioned is that the dependencies of the Chocolate Gooey package have changed. <clears throat> and what we're saying is that this version of Chocolate Gooey now has a direct dependency on Chocolatey version 1.0.0. Um, that is reflected in the uh, package dependencies, uh, but we just wanted to call it out here uh, because we are regarding that as a breaking change. So anytime the package dependencies of a package changes, we do uh, regard that as a breaking change because there's work that needs to happen potentially on a system to ensure that those dependencies are met. Uh, now, Chocolate itself will in in ensure them, but those third-party dependencies, for example, if it's a .NET Framework bump, etc., uh, may need to be sanctioned by uh, folks within your organization or your own uh, requirements as well. So that's why we're calling it out as a specific breaking change. Uh, for more information on that, you can go out to look at the issue there. Now, the, really that was the, the, the fundamental uh, change that went into this release. Um, but we took the opportunity to fix a couple of things as well. So for example, the bug fix that's mentioned there is that if I go up here and that's telling me, sorry, I just opened Chocolate Goo before I started recording. It was telling me there that there's a newer version of Chocolate available because I've got an older version installed in the machine. Uh, I'm not gonna fix that just now, but that's what that was. If I go to settings here and I look for uh, the aggregated, so show aggregated source view. Uh, if I click that on and I go back to uh, the main screen, what it's added is this all sources option. So the thought process behind that feature, that this feature existed uh, before this release, but this feature then will aggregate packages together from all of my configured sources. So in this scenario, I've got both chocolatey and chocolatey license feeds. So the all sources one will show me a combination of packages that exist in both places. Now, now the important thing that, uh, has been addressed in this release is if I go back here and look for keyboard shortcuts. So by default, keyboard shortcuts or keyboard bindings is enabled. So if I come back here and I say control one on my keyboard, it's gonna to switch to this PC. If I do control two, it's gonna to go to all sources. Now previously, if I had that aggregated source enabled and I did control three, rather than going to the chocolatey source, it would have tried to go to this uh, separator that we've got in between here in the menu. And as a result, it would break, right? Uh, so we took the opportunity to fix that uh, because, well, we could, right? It's, it's, a, it's a simple fix. Uh, and because we were pushing out the 1.0.0 release, we took the opportunity to fix that as well. Uh, and there was also another minor change, which was with regard to the export command. If I go back to Chocolate GUI here and I click back to this PC, we've got this export button. So if I click export there, and I just say, I'm gonna put this up here onto the root of my C drive. Uh, if I'm gonna save a packages.config file that it will contain all of the packages that I currently have installed. And there was a typo here regarding the, all the currently installed packages. There was a typo, I think, in the word installed. So that came through as a community contribution to fix that up. Uh, so we absolutely uh, thought, Let's just get that installed in this release as well. And so that's it. Um, that's the, the main crux of this, like I say, was uh, the dependency chain change because we've released the 1.0.0 version of Chocolatey CLI. Uh, it made sense to also have uh, version parity at Chocolatey GUI to say that this is our first stable uh, release uh, and we're gonna move forward from there. So that's all I've got. I uh, hope this was useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much.